I got, I got way too much confidence, eh? Hey? You know everyone talks about having imposter syndrome? I got the opposite of that. I got James Corden disease. <laughs> so my name is uh, Guy Williams. I'm from uh, New Zealand. I'll just leave that in, I reckon. <laughs> I'm from New Zealand and, uh, yeah, you know, like, if I get my references wrong, just, you know, that's fine, just call me out for it, you know? If I say jandals instead of thongs, or if I say six instead of sex, or if I start respecting indigenous land rights. <laughs> don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, New Zealand's not great, but to com compared to you guys, we're Nelson mandela eh? <laughs> Everyone else comes out here and goes, it's great to be here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I fucking hate Australia, eh? <laughs> I look around, I see a bunch of fucking private school, RM Williams, Australia Day, racist, Jetstar Bali, Ford Ranger, Rupert Murdoch cunts. <laughs> You've contributed, your only contribution to society is coal. <laughs> Nothing else. I hope China invades you. <laughs> AFL, someone goes, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> AFL sucks shit. Play rugby, you cowards. You'll never win the Bledisloe. <laughs> I will fight you all in the car park after the show. You're like, fucking stop the boats! Stop the boats! And then you're like, oh, they're trying to take away Australia Day. What's Australia Day? That's the day we celebrate coming to Australia on boats. <laughs> I've come out too hot. or not hot enough. The world is ending. Wake up. You're like, why are we on fire? You did that. Ah! Does anyone else, we just need to walk around the streets just going, ah! Ah, to be fair, this is Melbourne. I did see a few people doing that today. And they were the only fucking sane people here. The rest of you, what are you up to, eh? God, the world is outrageous. Is anyone else just like losing their mind? Okay, I got a mate who's had kids. Is that not outrageous to anyone else? He's had kids, that seems like a bad investment. Having two kids in 2023, that's like buying a Video Easy franchise in 2023. It's not gonna go well. You know, we've got fucking, you know, COVID, climate change, white supremacy is back. Well, it's not back, it's always been there, but I'm aware of it now. And that's annoying for me. We shouldn't be having more kids. If anything, we should be eating the kids we've already got. That's just a good idea. And the weird thing is we celebrate kids still. We're like, it's a miracle, it's amazing. If it's such a miracle, then how come the dumbest guy from my high school's got like four of them? <laughs> All right? I asked my mate why, I didn't even go like, oh, congratulations. I was just like, why? Why did you do that? And he didn't even have a good reason, eh? He was like, oh man, to continue the family name. To continue the family name, like he's on Game of Thrones or some shit. <laughs> to continue the family name, his family name is Thompson. <laughs> Son of Tomp. I don't know who the fuck Tomp is, but I don't think he gives a shit that my dumb fuck mate in West Auckland's had two kids. I could understand if he had a cool name, like if Waka Flock of Flame was going to continue the Flock of Flame tradition. I'll be like, flame on, brother. <laughs> White supremacy is back. Ah, do you see those guys? The Nazis are back. On the, I haven't learned the name of any of your buildings. <laughs> on the parliament steps. The Nazis are back and they're wearing shorts. <laughs> I realise that's not the main problem with the Nazis. <laughs> but it's still very concerning. I'll tell you guys right now, there is no stronger argument against white supremacy than meeting a white supremacist, eh? There is nothing supreme about these dudes. These are the dumbest dudes I've ever met in my life. They're like trans people holding us back. Do you know what's holding you back, mate? Visible swastikas. <laughs> it's a real turn off at the old job interview, eh? I interviewed a, a white supremacist, and I didn't know at the time, he was just he seemed like a normal dude. Put his jacket on, big swastika right here. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? And he was like, don't worry, bro, I'm calm. I'm not, the Nazis are back. It's like this outrageous situation. I'm like, 
my, my, okay, my general theory is that I feel like things are getting like, things are getting mad, and I, I, I definitely feel like COVID-19 didn't help, you know? Like, I know, Victoria, you guys had like huge lockdowns and stuff like that. In New Zealand, COVID-19 was a real roller coaster, you know, for everyone in New Zealand. And considering we only have one roller coaster in New Zealand, <laughs> it was actually a real treat, to be honest. It was a real delight. But I can kind of understand how it, you know, it, if it did fuck with a lot of people and a lot of people's brains, you know, like, um, and I realise I'm in Melbourne today and there's probably a lot of, you know, independent researchers in the room tonight. <laughs> I don't want to be too hard on them. And I don't want to say anything too offensive, but I reckon some of this independent research is a little bit too independent, eh? <laughs> some of this independent research is so fiercely independent, it's seemingly no longer tethered to reality. So I would like to say thank you to the independent researchers for all your wonderful independent research. We really appreciate it. But what we need now is some peer-reviewed research. Because there's people out there who are so fucking ignorant, they didn't learn the main lesson from high school, which is that science is hard. That was like the main thing I learned. Dad would be like, what'd you learn at school today, son? And I'd be like, that science is hard and that I'm a fuckwiss. And he'd be like, and don't you ever forget it, son. I don't want to see you in 10 to 15 years' time logging onto Facebook.com and arguing with a microbiologist because you listen to three episodes of the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> who are these people who have spent the last, like, 20 years frying their brains on footy and married at first sight? Who are like, what's that? Global pandemic. Oh, all right, time to try my hand at epidemiology. <laughs> How hard can it be? Very hard. Very hard. You know, like, it's just so, it just, who do we blame for all this? I blame Steve Jobs. He was like, computers should be easy to understand and accessible to everyone. No, that was a huge mistake. <laughs> computers should be hard to understand and only available to the liberal elite for scientific peer-reviewed research and online pornography. <laughs> if you want to look at porn, you better learn how to code. Because instead we've got to this, like, bleak situation where, like, you know, like, I, I guess it's combined with like being more nurturing in schools, which is generally a good thing, but it's kind of like, it's frustrating when you see like, yeah, like the, the, the dumbest guys from my high school are just logging onto facebook.com now and writing the most ignorant but hilarious shit I've ever read in my life. They're like, bike lanes? Where's our car lanes? It's called roads. Wake up. This right here is why I reckon we need to get bullying back into schools. <laughs> I swear that Donald Trump never would have uh, got elected if he went to Nelson Boys College in 2003. We were toxic as fuck for the good of society. I know it's hard, to, if Donald Trump went to my school, he would have got up there on the first day to do one of his speeches and been like, I am the greatest. And someone at the back would have just yelled, shut the fuck up, you rang a skin cunt. <laughs> and the world would be a better place. Instead, now we've got fucking, America is repealing abortion. That made the room go quiet, hey? <laughs> is that not crazy to anyone else? I'm very pro-abortion, all right? You know, I, that was a weird thing to say out loud. I'm so sorry, I'm pro-choice. I'm so pro-choice, I'm pro-aborting some kids who have already been born. I reckon we should have abortions on kids up to the age of 18. Who's with me? No! This is how the Nazi started. Did we learn nothing? I've been Guy Williams, thank you very much, good night.